Here we are again. Hello. Let's go over pages two, three, and four here <laughs> very quickly. There's a reason behind this and you'll see why. So page two of our computer and internet basic handout talks about PCs. Now what I did was I took a bunch of advertisements. So let's see what they have to say here, okay? Um, the first couple, uh, you can see the first one is 749, CyberPower PC Gamer. It has an Intel Core i5, 2.9 gigahertz, 8 gigs of DDR4, and a 500 gig SSD. Uh, and that's $750, basically. $400, you have the Lenovo Think Center. Um, and it's a tiny one. Uh, it has the AMD A9, 1.8 gigahertz, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive. The Dell Optiplex is the next one. Um, and it is also, I want to note, certified refurbished. So that's priced at $250, uh, Core i5, 3.2 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 256 uh, gig SSD. Uh, that's actually not too bad <laughs> at any rate. Uh, and the last one here at $450, HP Elite Desk. Uh, it has a Core i7. Um, at 3.4 gigahertz, uh, it's a quad core, 16 gigs of DDR3, and a, a two terabyte hard disk drive. Uh, not bad, all of those, not, not, very, not very bad, but th there's a big price discrepancy. Well, let's take a look here at the laptops on page three. We have the Lenovo ThinkPad. Um, it's got the 8th gen uh, Intel Core i5, 1.6 gigahertz, four gigs of DDR4 RAM, and a 256 gig SSD drive. It's also 14 inch, and uh, that becomes important. The size of that becomes important as we talk about this. So. Uh, the next one down, oh, and that was, was about $700. For about $400, you can get an HP um, PC. It is also refurbished, so keep that in mind. Uh, it's got the AMD i9 at 3.1 gigahertz, 12 gigs of RAM, one terabyte hard drive, and it's 17.3 inches. It's about three inches larger uh, than the first one. Um, and a little less expensive, but you know, we'll talk about that. Uh, and last there, as far as the laptops, we have the Apple uh, MacBook Air with Touch ID. Um, it's got the Retina display, True Tone technology, i5, 1.6 gigs, uh, gigahertz, excuse me, eight gigs of LP, uh, which is the low profile or the um, lower power use, DDR3, 128 gig SSD, and that starts at about $1,000 or a little over. Um, the last part we here have on page three, or we talk about some tablets, and we're starting with a big boy here at about two grand, uh, the Microsoft Surface Pro 6. Now, I think they're up to like the Pro 8. Um, this was actually uh, done in 2021. These are 2021 advertisements, so you can actually see how much they've changed. Um, but you have the uh, Intel Core i7. It's a quad core. It's all um, 1.9 gigahertz, 16 gigs of the DDR3 RAM, and a one terabyte SSD um, for about two grand. Hmm, okay. Uh, it's also about 12.3 inches. Now, tablets and laptops are measured on the uh, diagonal, so do remember that, okay? Uh, just like televisions are. So the bigger the laptop or tablet, the more expensive it is. Okay. Um, well, we also have right underneath that $2,000 behemoth there at the top, we have a Lenovo uh, tablet and um, it's priced at around $500. Um, has an Intel Celeron processor, 1.1 gigahertz, four gigs of the DDR4 RAM and 128 gigs of memory. That's the EMMC memory, which is like flash type memory. Okay. Um, and it's only 10.1 inches um, across its hypotenuse, <laughs> the diagonal. Moving on uh, to the last page here, page four, uh, we have the Apple, uh, it's a 12.9 inch iPad Pro tablet and that starts at about $1,300 and it has its own uh, chip, multi-touch uh, liquid display. Forgive me, it's the A12X Bionic chip. Uh, it does not say what the gigahertz is, which is uh, unfortunate, but it does have uh, 512 gigabytes of uh, memory and uh, of course it connects to the internet and those types of things and it has a nice camera system. Um, below that we have the Samsung for running about $330. That's a Galaxy Tab A, it's 1.8 gigahertz CPU, 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Not too big, not too small, it's, uh, it's about 10 and a half inches as well. Now the other last one that we have is the Lenovo Tab, um, the E8, and that's about $130. 
and um, it has a processor, 1.3 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, uh, multi-touch display, and it's got some decent cameras on it. Now, I do want to mention as well here at the very bottom of uh, page four, things that you see are certified refurbished. Uh, buying a used phone uh, or a tablet or a, a laptop or desktop is like buying a used car. You can get some really good deals on, on some really great things or you can get stuck with a bit of a, you know, a lemon, so to speak. So, um, but it can be certified refurbished or refurbished uh, type or scratch and dent um, can give you a good deal. Okay. Now, please note, if you understood everything I just ran through, um, you're done with the class. Congratulations. You've got it. If you want to know some more why I went through that so fast, stick around and we'll go over it.